Since 2015, I've done a separate video on every camera that's come out since then on menu settings for shooting sports action and performance photography. So if you shoot dance or football or basketball or field sports, this will give you a good setup for the A6700 on what to do first and how to set it up when it comes out of the box after you buy it new. Okay, well the first thing we're gonna see is the image quality record buttons. The first one is a choice between high files or JPEG. We're gonna leave it in JPEG. Then I'm gonna turn off raw plus JPEG because I only shoot JPEG. I know you think I'm nuts, but then I do extra fine. And we see that the 26 megapixel image size is there, which is great. Um, I'm gonna change it to 4K. And of course you can do these slower, right? You know, you can hit pause or whatever. Record setting, uh, I usually shoot 30 frames, and yes, the A6700 can shoot in 422 10-bit color, which is awesome. I <laughs> can't believe they did that. Uh, color space RGB, which affects JPEG shooters. I know it doesn't matter if you shoot RAW, so don't tell me that in the comments. Um, I always write the serial number because I want to know if there's a problem with the camera, which one it is, because I use a lot of the same cameras. Now we're going to change from single to high plus, Typically, yep. Silent mode on this camera for action, I'm gonna leave it on mechanical for sure. I disable release without lens or card because it's just a good idea. Anti-flicker set on, which only works in uh, mechanical shutter, by the way. So if you want anti-flicker, you've gotta be in mechanical. We don't need any of this because the camera's gonna automatically sense what's connected to it, but it's nice to know that you can put a Nikon 428 on there and still get stabilization. Setting effect on is what you want. That's your, what you see is what you get. You always want that pretty much unless you're shooting strobes. ISO, you always turn off auto ISO. It's not a good idea to use that. I know m most people do, but it's, it's a terrible idea. It's gonna screw you. Um, Wireless flash, you want to leave off if you're going to use an off-brand strobe, like uh, Westcott FJ82 or whatever you got. There are a lot of picture profiles you can experiment with these, but just leave it on one unless you have a problem like super high contrast or super low light. I leave it on balanced AF tracking sensitivity. I always go to four. When you're first starting out with Sony, I would recommend two, but as you get better, at doing back button focus, you can go to four or even five. AF with shutter, you've got to turn that off because otherwise you're not going to be using back button focus. It'll keep turning on by itself. Um, you have to put a lens on in order to do uh, get the tracking features. It will not work unless you have it. So um, you have to have a lens attached to the body in order to access the uh, tracking features, which is, and this is what I'm doing right now, putting a lens on. And once the lens is attached, I'll be able to hit menu and then I'll be able to go back into focus area and go all the way to the bottom. And then, um, oh brother. Oh, it's on AAF instead of AFC right now. That's the problem. So you gonna have to go fix that. <clears throat> So AFA is not your friend. It should say AFC. Now that I figured that out, you can go back to focus area and finally it will allow you to get into the tracking features. And tracking spot M is the one. It is the one. If you're using a 4028 or a 600 F4, you'll want the S, but for right now, medium is great. Okay, sorry that took a while. Okay. Yeah, I like the red for focus area color, definitely. Just see it better. Unless I'm playing shooting Georgia, then I'll probably put on white. <laughs> Delete pressing twice is huge. It will save you so much time when you're shooting sports. So just remember that if you touch it twice, it's gone, gone. It's not coming back. Okay, focus frame display will, will show you where your autofocus is. Um, was set at the time you took the picture in playback. It's really useful. Kind of neat. If you've never seen it, it's really cool. I kind of blast through all this because I don't understand it. <laughs> uh, 
thank God I don't work for the AP, so I don't have to fool with all this stuff. Okay, so this is pretty important. We're going to get into custom key dial set on the video side. The uh, A6700, unbelievably, not only does it have 10-bit video, so you can shoot 422 color, but it also has the ability to shoot tracking on, which is the first time... Um, the first time this ever happened in a camera was in the uh, A7R5, and now it's in uh, four cameras total, including the A6700, which is unbelievable. So what you're going to be able to do is set the uh, tracking on plus AF on, on your AF on button, which is so cool, because what it allows you to do is continue to use tracking autofocus without needing to use the touch screen at all which is great because like with long lenses it doesn't work now the focus hold button I usually set for punch in but this is an APS-C camera already so you can't punch in <laughs> so remember that these are starting points only but it will give you a good setup or a good cam set as they call it for a good starting point and so you can change them after this but but these are really going to be give you success okay remember to keep your shutter speed high when you're shooting sports two thousandth of a second kind of a minimum if possible uh, it's not always possible but anyway so just go through this also not every single menu is going to be in the video uh, some of them i just skip over a lot of the like the cell phone stuff and the connection for various like Wi-Fi and all that. I don't worry, worry about that. I'm just worried about you going to like a football game and making nice pictures. 